Today we're talking about mosquitoes and their bites. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're talking about mosquitoes and how to deal with them. You know, mosquitoes can be more than just a pesky nuisance. They can transmit diseases such as West Nile virus or malaria. It can be very serious. You'll find mosquitoes that are in swampy areas or where there's a high humidity. If you look at the background behind me, you'll see some cattails that are growing in an area where the water's stagnant. And any time that you've got some stagnant water, could even be in your backyard, maybe in a, a water bowl or a planter that's just got water that's sitting there, that's a breeding ground for mosquitoes. You'll want to dump those out and get rid of those. So knowing that mosquitoes are attracted to high humidity areas, those are places that we're going to try and avoid when we're out in the woods. Mosquitoes are pretty fragile little bugs and they like to avoid the hot time of the day. They'll stay in the shadows and they'll stay around the swampier areas. They avoid going out during the heat of the day because the hot sun will tend to dry out their bodies and their wings. You might wonder, why are mosquitoes so attracted to me? Well, if we're out hiking and sweating, part of the things that the mosquitoes are attracted to is body odor whether it be perspiration or food odor, but more importantly, they're attracted to the carbon dioxide that we breathe out when we're exercising. So the more that we exercise, the more that we're sweating, the more mosquitoes are attracted to us. You may wonder why your mosquito bites itch after you've been bitten. It's interesting to note that only the female mosquitoes bite and their little proboscis or the syringe-like nose that they have, they'll stick that into your skin and they start pumping little proteins in that keeps the blood that they're sucking out from coagulating. And then in, in response, our bodies send some histamines to attack that protein. We got this little war going under our skin and the histamines that we send out create some swelling and they're sending in white blood cells to try and to repair the injury that the mosquitoes caused you. And pretty soon, we're scratching and itching and we get a little swelling and now you've got a good mosquito bite. The important thing for me is how do I minimize the risk of being bit? I know that mosquitoes will congregate around standing water so I want to try and avoid those areas and know also that mosquitoes are weak flyers. So if you're in a place where there's a bit of a breeze, that's going to help avoid being bitten by the mosquitoes. Also in the morning and the evening, of course it's the best time to fish, but that's when the mosquitoes love to come out too. There's a product called permethrin, and it's designed to treat clothing to repel bugs and actually will kill bugs on contact. So if you're treating your clothing with permethrin, you want to spray it, let it dry, and then you can use your clothing. Let's talk a little bit about repellents. Some of the most active ingredients in the repellents would be DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. You want to apply these products to areas where the blood vessels are closest to the skin your elbows, your knees, your ankles, anywhere where a mosquito might access your blood vessels. When you're selecting your repellent, be sure to look at the ingredients. This one has 15% DEET, while this one contains 98% DEET. And this product contains sunscreen in addition to 15% DEET. So it does two things for us at once. And so what's the bottom line? To prevent the itching, first quit scratching. That's not gonna help at all. Some people like to use some calamine lotion, put that on there to soothe it. Uh, some will take some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and rub that on, which will break down the proteins that the mosquitoes are injected into you. Some people would like to take a Benadryl, that would help. And it's interesting to know that if you have an antiperspirant, rub that on there. The aluminum salts in the antiperspirant will break down the proteins and stop the itch. We hope that this has been interesting and informative to you. And Rochelle, thanks for the question. And we hope to see you again at OSME TV.